Well, here at ESMO, I'm presenting interim results of an ongoing phase 1A and 1B study. This study is still accepting new patients. In the first part of the study, the phase 1A, we have explored the optimal dose and schedule for this compound. And we defined the dose of 45 milligram given once every three weeks orally as the optimal dose that has been chosen for further development and testing of the compound. We also explored other schedules, but the, the once every three week schedule was chosen for further clinical testing. During the dose finding of this uh, typical phase 1A, uh, 1B study, uh, we entered a considerable number of patients with tumors with MDM2 amplification, especially patients with dedifferentiated liposarcomas and well-differentiated liposarcomas, but also other solid tumors with MDM2 amplification. And we saw objective responses, which is uh, interesting in the phase 1 dose finding context, because most of these patients were quite heavily pre-treated. So we saw objective responses in the two types of sarcoma that are mentioned, but also for example in biliary cancers and also in the case of pancreatic cancer, which is a striking observation. A very important aspect of the phase 1A, phase 1B study that I'm reporting here at ESMO today is of course that this phase 1 study led to further development. There are studies ongoing now combining this oral inhibitor with immunotherapy and there is an ongoing phase 2-3 clinical study which is ongoing as we speak exploring the use of this oral compound in comparison with chemotherapy in the first-line treatment of dedifferentiated liposarcoma.